interesting. The wedding season has kind of expanded a little bit longer. Yes. Like I, um, I have one in April and then I go all the way through October. I may have one in November, Mm -hmm. but it's crazy. It used to be like literally like three months. Yep. And then, you know, nothing. Yeah. Right. And this, again, you know, this, for me, this is a side hustle, you yeah. know, and the only, you know, I've been doing weddings about the same time that I've been doing dance competitions, but again, it's just, it's, for me, it's a passion. I love people. Mm-hmm. I love being able to help people and being able to be a positive influence in people's lives and, um, being able to help people out on a special day like this. And, um, you know, Hopefully I can keep the run going, you know, yeah. hopefully I don't become the, <laughs> the old DJ guy that no one wants, you know, right. and, and I'll be cool with it. You know, sure. I'll be like, I had a good run. I, yeah. You know, it's been over 20 years now since I've been doing weddings. So, you know, well, I mean, it's weird to say that, <laughs> the, but, and I'm not, I'm not trying to like dig it, dig, dig at anybody, but, um, I just don't see very many up and coming DJs. Yeah, it's, you know, um, and I think last year when I was, when I had all those weddings, you know, it, I would try to refer to someone, but then they weren't doing it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so it got to be like, I think there was only like three or four of us that were doing weddings and it was so uh, almost a little overwhelming. And you're Mm -hmm. like, man, there needs to be some, you know, and I think it, it, you know, I followed under, you know, someone who had a great concept and who had great philosophy. And I've kept a lot of the things that I learned back then. Mm-hmm. Um, but Shout you can't out. just come up. What's that? Shout out. Shout out to Landon Balding. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think like, you know, I, I would be open to taking someone on to be able to kind of keep the legacy of John Kelly DJ services going. But mm-hmm. you know, this, I, you know, there's, ha, I haven't been approached. And so I don't, you know, I'm not actively trying to recruit anybody or yeah. anything, but you know, it'd be nice to be able to train someone. And the way I feel like weddings go pretty smoothly when I do them. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I feel like I do a good job and um, it'd be nice to have someone kind of be able to kind of learn what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's, you know, one company, maybe two that are doing that same kind of concept, which yeah. is cool, which is yeah. great. I hope they, I wish them much success. Sure. Yeah. You know, but gosh, man, like there aren't very many. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's, that, it's not like, like photographers. Oh like, gosh. I think there's a photographer. It's just like churches. I think there's a church on every corner. Yeah. You know, I think photographers too. There's, there's a ton of photographers. Like yeah. every wedding I went to last year, I, I don't think I worked with the same photographer. Maybe one time I worked with the same one. That's crazy. Well, I think maybe you, how many do we maybe did two together last year? I bet we two? did two or three. Yeah, two or three. Well, it just okay. depends because if I was just there for with my photo booth too. Yeah, yeah you so might have been. It was probably six or seven at that point. Yeah. yeah. But if I was just doing photography, yeah, two or three maybe. So it's just super interesting. Like it's every weekend I'm meeting someone new and yeah. I'm like, where are you from? Right. And, you know, yeah. it's like, how did people find you? And, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. So I, I feel bad for you guys. It's really cutthroat. Whereas us, there's like barely any of us to go around for DJing. But there's still that high percentage of people who are still hiring for, at least for photography, who are still hiring that relative or oh, that yeah. personal friend. Yep. Yeah. I had um, that happen a couple of times. Uh, one, the person, it was a friend. She ended up not showing up, but like, I think it was like five minutes after the ceremony had started. So they didn't get anything done. Um, and keep in mind, this was a remote wedding. It was up in the mountains. Okay. But she claimed she got lost. <laughs> but Oh, geez. But yeah. what a stressful. Um, and then so then they had some other like teenager who had who was starting to get into photography. Mm-hmm. She started filling in and just started taking pictures. It's kind of weird. Um, you, you felt bad. You're like, right. oh, my gosh. Yeah. You just paid a lot of money to this person. And they didn't show up on you.